So Tuesday has been a steady day for Dogecoin since it has been hovering around the 24 cents mark throughout the day. In this video, I'll talk about the potential rise of Dogecoin in the coming days. Hello guys and welcome back to Crypto Fire, where we talk about Dogecoin, cryptocurrency, and investing. Before we move forward, I'd just like to remind you to subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications. This will make sure that you never miss our time-sensitive updates. Now, let's get started with today's video. As we can see, despite the fact that it lost some fractional points, Dogecoin has been holding on to the critical 24 cents mark. Now it is indeed a critical mark for Doge and if it continues to hold it in the coming days, we might see more significant gains over the long run. Now despite the fact that Doge has gained momentum in the last 48 hours and some experts believe that a bullish run is on the cards, a few believe that this hike for Doge is more of the same and should not be considered significant. So according to these analysts, Dogecoin's value will last only as long as it is in the headlines and once that ceases to occur, we should consider it done and dusted. They also said that the reason behind this recent hike is only the impact of recent remarks of Elon Musk and Mark Cuban, and besides it, there is no apparent reason for this hike. Well, I personally think that this analysis might not be fully accurate since I believe that Doge is going to rally above especially over the long run, and its correlation with Bitcoin is strong and right now close to 0.69, which is a good sign for Doge. As we are talking about the influencer effect on Doge, a recent report by InvestorPlace explored the influencer effect on Doge. So according to the report, the spike for Doge was seen just after the comments of Musk and Cuban, however, this might not be a short-term surge and no one knows just how high Doge can go. And according to Crypto News Z, the Dogecoin price is likely to continue its upward trajectory and reach 90 cents by the end of 2022, and by 2023, Doge prices may even exceed the $1 mark, and Dogecoin's minimum estimated price would be roughly 90 cents. Moreover, it is anticipated to surpass 80 cents in the near future, as Doge is constantly breaking all-time highs. They also added that Dogecoin's value has enormous potential and with its rising level of popularity, Dogecoin's presence is wide in comparison to its competitors. And in another recent development, David Gokstein, the chief executive of PAC Protocol, has turned to Twitter to say that Dogecoin has attracted a large number of individuals to Bitcoin. Gokstein has been active on Twitter, discussing cryptos especially Bitcoin and Ripple. And now, he has been tweeting about Dogecoin and Shiba Inu. So today, he tweeted about Doge, claiming that although Doge began as a Bitcoin parody in 2013, still has facilitated the entry of a large number of people into Bitcoin. Meanwhile, Mark Cuban just stated that he believes Bitcoin is the finest store of value however, Dogecoin is the best payment method, and Ethereum faces the risk of being displaced by other blockchains if it does not implement its proof-of-stake swap soon. Cuban mentioned during a recent interview that he believes Bitcoin is the ideal asset to protect wealth, and I think his opinion is unsurprising since he said earlier this week in an interview with CNBC that he would avoid investing in a Bitcoin ETF, preferring to own the cryptocurrency directly. Additionally, he said that Doge is the greatest way for novices to the crypto community to learn about the market because it is simple to purchase in comparison to other cryptos with a high entry barrier. In other news, Huobi, a leading Chinese cryptocurrency exchange, has officially announced that its first-timer exclusive program in the Flexible Earn module now supports Shiba Inu and Dogecoin. Along with 13 other assets, Shib and Doge can now be locked at a yearly return of 88%, which is far more profitable than the average rate of passive income modules, and the program is only accessible for deposits of 7 days or more. Talking about Doge and Shib, another report suggests that both Doge and Shiba could surge more in the coming days. So according to the report, since the beginning of the current trading month, Dogecoin's price has been in a significant increase and it is making a valiant effort to burst through the top barrier but is up against equal competition from bears. Moreover, Dogecoin's price is expected to increase by 30% in the coming days, however, as some indications hint at a robust upswing, a little setback is also probable. Analyzing the market trend of Shiba Inu, the report stated that Shiba Inu followed a spectacular run that saw about 340% gains in just four days, projecting the rally's power.
However, despite its monstrous rebound, the Shiba Inu price appears to be very fatigued and is drifting within the declining channel. And despite the fact that the drop sought to bring the price back to its initial positions, the bulls maintain the price above $0.00002. And since slamming its monthly highs, the price has been trending within a parallel declining channel. Several attempts to reach the upper levels have failed, and the price is currently witnessing a modest decline. As a result, a decrease to $0.00002584 is entirely possible in the next few days. However, a significant rebound may help the price reach the immediate resistance levels around $0.00003469. And it has also been reported that Doge is now the number one crypto in the U.S. market. So CoinMarketCap has released the findings of a recent poll on crypto acceptance in 22 countries. As per their findings, Dogecoin is favored among crypto enthusiasts in the United States and the majority of Australian crypto investors possess Cardano. Meanwhile, Indonesian crypto enthusiasts frequently hold Binance Coin, while Singaporeans are more interested in Ethereum. The report also added that 11.4% of respondents poll possess crypto assets. Nigeria is unquestionably the top among the 22 countries surveyed, with 24.2% of its adult population using cryptos as a store of value. They also discovered that Malaysia and Australia had impressive crypto adoption rates of 18% and 17% respectively. And Indonesia, Hong Kong, Singapore, India, the Philippines, Mexico, and the United States are also among the top 10 countries in terms of crypto penetration. Now let's take a peek into what is happening with Bitcoin. So a recent expert analysis states that with the anticipated debut of a futures-backed Bitcoin ETF in the United States today, it is critical to be cautious of the volatility that may ensue. Now as we saw that Bitcoin's price has actually been rising since last week's heightened reports of a forthcoming futures-backed Bitcoin ETF in the United States. For the first time since April, it surpassed $60,000 and is currently less than 5% away from setting a new all-time high. And according to some analysts, this point represents a possible local top for the entire crypto market. Jim Cramer, head of CNBC's Mad Money, recently stated that he liquidated a chunk of his Bitcoin holdings in anticipation of a correction following the launch of the ETF. Experts also think that there are no guarantees that Bitcoin will continue on its downward trajectory at that moment. However, traders should be cautious of possibly tumultuous trading days due to the ramifications of such a significant and long-awaited new product becoming available in the world's largest market, the United States. Now, as the Bitcoin ETF debuts today, we will see shortly how the market reacts. Now let's see how Ethereum has been trading in the market today. So Ethereum has been consolidating over the last few days following a retracement following the most recent surge during which the price was rejected at the important resistance level of $3,900. Meanwhile, on Sunday, ETH's price fell nearly to the previously indicated support level of $3,600. Technically, the price is unlikely to make another push over the resistance level until the bulls regain strong control of the support area, implying that a more conclusive retest is possible. If such is the case, we might see a break over the critical psychological and technical resistance level of $3,900 to $4,000 and a push towards all-time high. Besides, Monday saw a rise in volume. The bulls, on the other hand, were unable to alter the momentum, failing to break through resistance, and it's critical to monitor volume as pricing approaches the critical support level. A strong bullish display at that time will serve as an early indicator of the price reversing course. Now coming back to Doge, the FX Street report indicates that Dogecoin's price is aiming for a 58% rise, with bulls aiming for the 37 cents mark. The report added that on its $0.005 per 3 box reversal point and figure chart, Dogecoin price exhibits one of the most potent multi-top setups, the triple top, and the hypothetical trade configuration includes a purchase stop order at $0.28 cents and a stop loss order at $0.26. Cents. And, in point and figure analysis, the vertical profit goal approached generates a hypothetical profit target of $0.37. Cents. Well, let's see how the market trends in the coming days, however, I personally think that Doge is going to rally up over the long run. So what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments section below. And this is it for today's video. Thanks for watching till the end.
If you enjoyed it, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. Also, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for daily videos on Dogecoin and cryptocurrency. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Goodbye, take care.